Hi, very warm welcome. It's Jim from Avstar. As promised, the Earth's Self at a Glance. You know, a unique list of anomalies that takes place can be found all on one website, saving you, you know, having to go on several websites to get the same information. Um, and the other thing is, um, you know, we use our own equipment to gather some of this information and, uh, you know, that also is unique to our website. Uh, it's polshiftnews.com. If you've never been over there, why not take a look? We've got a lot of other stuff on there that you might be interested in looking at, as well as all the latest uh, up-to-date information on the magnetic North Pole migration. So, we're on the 20th of August. Let's get into it. Let's have a look what's been going on, starting with the CO2 uh, quantities in our atmosphere. So, at the present time, or at the moment we got the equipment out earlier on, it was at 427 parts per million. And that's been the lowest for a long time. If you check the archive, that's another unique feature about Earth Alpha Glance. Um, you can go back over the archive of four and a half years that we've been doing this now and check various things. And if you want to, excel it um, and chart it. And you'll see for yourselves whether something's on the increase or not. So the lowest CO2 that we've seen for quite some time. Um, then we've got the CO, uh, atmospheric oxygen levels. They, they do fluctuate, but very, very small, but always over 20%. I don't think I've ever took a reading below uh, 20%. So we have really, in comparison to CO2, we have an enormous reservoir of oxygen in our atmosphere, and that can only be good news. Uh, then the latitude and longitude of the magnetic north pole position that we done uh, I think on the 13th of this month and then moving on to the radiation background count still very low 0 0.16 microsievertz it really is nothing to worry about um, volcanoes in eruption 34 you know usually or should I say around about a year ago and you can check the archives going back four and a half years Volcanoes was erupting at around 28, 29 on average when we took the readings. So they are up slightly. And then we got the muons per square meter. Um, sorry, first of all, uh, we got the largest earthquake. And, you know, not only is Russia experiencing, you know, uh, a volcano eruption, but it's also the largest recorded um, magnitude of earthquake. Um, also in the Russian region so volcanic activity as well as tectonic activity um, muons per hour per square meter here in the UK at 512 muons per hour per square meter in Canada at 714 both of those numbers are slight down on the normal uh, sunspots are at 11 and the geomagnetic field is quiet and the solar x-rays are normal and of course, the jet streams are unsettled as a result, uh, or should I say, unstable as a result of the inbound extra cosmic rays into the upper atmosphere, causing our jet streams to fragment. So that is our latest um, update for you guys. Um, can I just mention just once, you know, the link down there, the PayPal link or the Patreon link? Why not join us and support us? You know. We have got quite an archive of data now and it can only be found on one website, polshiftnews.com. And, um, you know, the reason why we do it is so that you don't have to put all your trust in these crooked and dodgy organisations that just take it for granted that you'll believe anything that they put out there. At least with an independent observatory like ours, you know, we are working for you and no other corporation. And there's no, therefore, reason for us or incentive for us to mislead you in any way. So, you know, there's a link down there if you want to help support us. It'd be amazing if we could get a few people uh, because, you know, we have put it back on the uh, YouTube for you guys after all. And, um, you know, we'll continue doing that so long as we get, you know, a few people here and there chipping a few books. Simple as that, guys. Nothing, as you know, is free in this world and that even includes time these days doesn't it so much love to you all uh we'll be back uh within a week with the latest magnetic pole position for you keeping you informed on that and the only other thing for me to say is what i usually do as always take care of your loved ones bye for now